champions in trouble in Taunton. After struggling with the bat through most of their first three matches in the LV County Championship, Somerset clicked on day one against Warwickshire at the Cooper Associates County Ground. Up to 354 for one, 129 added by opener Matt Renshaw, with 50s from Lamanby and Abel, at number four Tom Banton unbeaten overnight on 47. And he swiftly converted his strong position into a half century, 50 runs scored of 104 balls. Four deliveries later, he'd lost his partner. Davis sent back by Banton, but not in time. Miles' throw flicked the bales, with the keeper scrambling to make up his ground. It was soon Banton's turn to go. He was looking to leave, and just allowed Miles an unobstructed route to his stumps. Bowl for 57. Overton followed to the next ball. Warwickshire found a groove now. Another bowled by Miles. And Gregory was right behind him, making it three wickets in four balls for the Bears. Out bowled by Hannon Dolby. Jack Leach held them at bay alongside Josh Davey, and the pair took Somerset beyond 400. They stayed together all the way through to 417 when Davey was caught via an under edge off Briggs. Burgess with good hands behind the stumps. Lunch was delayed with one wicket left, and Brooks was mounting an assault in the dying embers of the innings. Hannon Dolby ended his fun and the Somerset innings, a fifth scout for the Bears bowler. Brooks caught by Sibley for 32 off 36. Somerset all out for 458. They'd gone big. The first innings total an impressive one, especially considering their well-documented travails with the bat. Fine contributions from Leach and Brooks down the order added to the top order's excellent showing. Hannon Dolby deserved his 5 for 89, but how would the Bears get on in their innings after lunch? Not too well. 25 on the board when Al Davis was caught at slip off the bowling of Brooks. And then Sibley too went, playing around a straight one. He was trapped in front by Davy for 12. Warwickshire had only just moved past 50 when Somerset had them three down. Yates caught of a leading edge by Overton for Davy's second. And Rhodes was soon following his teammate, out chipping a catch to Lamanby off the bowling of Lewis Gregory. And with the score still below 100, Matt Lamb fell, another for Gregory. The Bears, under a bit of pressure with T looming, Burgess would go before the break to leave Warwickshire in trouble. Caught behind, off Overton for 13, the visitors 92 for 6 at T. Briggs took them past 100 after the break, but not much further. He was out to fellow spinner Leach, trapped in front for 13. Payne was the last recognised batter for the Bears, and they were going to have to rely on him. But he was doing a good job of batting with the tail. McAndrew stuck around and found the odd six. The Bears defiant, despite the huge deficit, and Somerset stopped, for now at least. Payne had a 50 for his efforts, up to the mark of 112 balls with a boundary off Abel, but his side was still quite some way behind. His dogged resistance was admirable, but eventually brought to an end. Somerset jumping for joy as Hay nicked Abel through to Davis. McAndrew had played a great hand, up to 47 and looking for a 50 when he was removed by Overton. Just one wicket left for the visitors. Hannon, Dolby and Miles clung on through to the close, walking in with a score 197 for 9. They were still trailing by 261. It looks almost certain that barring a final wicket miracle, Tom Abel will have the chance to enforce the follow-on when they return on day 3. Somerset hold all the cards heading into the penultimate day at the Cooper Associates County Ground. Can the champions find an escape route?